And welcome back to season three of Real Talk with Anele right here on ACBC3. We're coming to you live from Stain City. I sincerely hope you had yourself a fabulous weekend. My guest today was literally born into showbiz. No one. And I mean no one embodies the stage is yours quite like him. Son to veteran actors Mary Twala and the late Davam Shongo, who was actually a comedian way back, back there in the day. He is affectionately known as Sam Gaga. If you have any questions for him, and I know you do, tweet me at Real Talk on 3 and we may just get to read some of your tweets. I would like to welcome to Real Talk because I've been dying for him to come on. And now he's here. So I'm in my element. So he's in Kaga. Hi. <laughs> why, why, why in a better tone? What's going on? We, we on SABC3, we speak English. Oh, we speak English. Yes, we amongst great shows like City Girl. City, huh? Like um, Top Billing. Top Billing, so yes. This often, is in is like, express, often in Express. Expresso. You know, so I mean. the tone, it's, um, you know, when, when like, it's, it's, it has to be, at a certain level, mm. Um, mm. because it's a certain type of audience, the mm. caliber mm. is is phenomenally, ostentatiously, <laughs> my gosh, <laughs> oh. ostentatiously. Oh, uh, Listen. Yes. All right. Mm. Let's let's go to Mzansi then. Yes, Just darling. Let's go to SBC One then. Listen. How much money do you have? This <laughs> sugar. Ah, this interview is finished. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> It is over. I've got enough to to make me undepressed when I'm depressed. Okay. Yeah. Enough. Like I said the other day that they were asking, how do you deal with people like on social media saying horrible things? Like, because every one of us, like we go through our Instagram. Yeah. Twitter, and there would be that one or two people that would say, especially now on radio, I understand it even more because it's an everyday thing. Yeah, you, so there would be that one. You are a household says, says, name. What the inch is it doing there? Uh, something something that, that might hurt you. Uh, I'm not, I'm no longer the responder. Oh, you used to respond. Whoa. <laughs> From his tenders, to hairline. So the, the older I, I get and the more popular and loved mm. I get, the more richer I become. Mm. I have so much to lose so is that why because and I, I heard you say this in an interview and you said you've gone corporate you've gone corporate and and that you have because mm. i mean you are now uh, in in affiliation with many brands mm. is that why you don't answer anymore or is no. it just a case of no. growing up i think even if i wasn't associated with these brands yeah it's it's wisdom it's age yeah and in age in china you're back yeah. and forth number one and knowing your self-worth i'm like you're giving access to mm. or who you've never seen or met and and for them it will make that day you responding number yeah. one you know but you once said that you know there was a time when you were watching people who were more famous than you and not mm. that you were you know jealous or envious but mm. you could name people who are more famous than you because mm. for me right now there's no one more famous than you really yes my fra. Ma fra. Asis. <laughs> <laughs> i really uh, i just feel like you are you are riding the crest to be quite honest and modestly so yeah you are correct, and yes. I'll tell you why. Because you can tell the difference in your life um, versus two, three years ago when I was only popular, maybe a Southgate Mall <laughs> or a, a pavilion, oh, you know? Or a Kylie. A Kylie. <laughs> and, and then you walk into a room with any race. Yes. And yes. with any race, ne? Yeah. people go gaga over, you go, whoa, okay. Yeah. And then with any age, yes. kids, Gokos, aunties, mkulus, with any sex mm. or sexuality, mm. gay, straight, um, uh, any religion, everybody is like into this. And then I'm glad it happened at my age because th the reason I think why people fall mm. is because they were not ready for that they don't greatness. Know what to do with, it. with the greatness. Yeah. Or they think now people breathe through, through their channels you know <laughs> but then you said by your own admission that you were broke between 2006 and 2009 mm. right mm. so and and then you were asked but why were you broke you're like no because i was living a lavish life mm. but you're living a lavish life now mm. are you not scared that you're going to be broke again not at all i ain't going back there <laughs> never <laughs> ever in the name of Jesus. So similar, guys. Fire by fire. No, I'm not, but, I'm not, I'm not going back So uh, what are you doing? Are you making sure that you always have a certain... Let's say uh, for you being broke is having 
50,000, right? Yeah. So do you always make sure that there's always a million rand mm. between you and that 50,000? Mm. So are, are you putting those mm. mechanics in place? Absolutely, okay. 100%. Um, then, and the, the good thing about me being broke then yeah. was that I've always been sober. You know when I say sober, like mm. I've never taken drugs. Mm. And mm. that's one thing I'm so proud of. I wish I could say uh, I'm a virgin. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, that's one thing that I am. I pride myself in which I've never taken drugs. I've never been influenced by anything that you put in for me to lose the money. It was just a genuine young person's mistake. Just like where spending. When, when someone says invest in property, like I and me, this is going to be like this forever. Okay. You know, when, when, uh, I would prioritize shopping for an expensive bag versus paying the bond. Oh. You know? So what did you lose? Did, were you kicked out your house? Did they take your car away? You know, I am the most stubborn human being in the world. I'm <laughs> China. For Kicking and screaming. Screaming. I'm like, I did not, I was never kicked out. Uh. Um, I had a car repossessed, but at least by then, I had three cars or two cars then, yeah. Oh. So one repossessed. I've never been careless. <laughs> so so not, then you're not broke so maybe. No, that's a hard. Well, how are they hard? Were you not eating forced, sushi but you uh, had to eat burger? Forced, forced, like forced. So I, um, uh, I had to sell the house. Okay. And then I think I, I was fortunate because I had to sell the house and then get the profit to sustain me. Okay. Go rent somewhere, All you know. Right. So that, that woke me up good. Actually, they were right property is the greatest investment, yeah. you know? Hence, now I am obsessed. Because you just bought a house cash. Who told you that? I do my research. Manele. What? Who told you that? I do my research. It's a rumor. No, you, it came out of your mouth. Cash. I told you. No, you didn't tell me. I just happened to hear you say it uh, somewhere else. Really? So, so I'm not lying. No, you're not. Okay. So um, mm. it's, it's those things that I, I want to secure myself uh, and not only myself, the future of my daughter. But is your mom not shouting at you when you're going up and down through these like financial things? Ah, guys, if you want to see a perfect example of what a mother is, go to my mother. Go to, that woman Mommy. is my Chuck Norris. <laughs> that woman is my Jay-Z and everything. My mother has never, when, when I was sick, mm. my mother, when the world said he's dying, he says, <laughs> <laughs> they, they, lost, they tell. When they said, I'm broke, and my mother would go, until maybe I am broke, mm. then you can say you're broke. Mm. I mean, there was a time where my mother, my mother is the type of mother who would call it, I think she does it to feel good as a mother, you know? Although Not she because doesn't she doesn't have. Okay. So then when Ish hits the fan, oh, my mother came. What you do? What better than thirty still in China? But you know what? I told you this long ago, and I was yeah. like, "You are the original Blue Ivy." Uh. You know, Blue Ivy, Blue Ivy's mother's Beyonce and the uh. father's Jay Z. When na songo meritwala, oh Blue Ivy. Uh, so when he was nine years old, he was cast as a presenter on a children's TV show, and at just fourteen, he was cast for the theatre production of Sarafina. When we return, so Misa tells us what what he got up to when his parents went to the United States to be on Sarafina, and he was here supposed to be at school. I know. <laughs> oh, so easy. Welcome back to Real Talk. I'm joined in studio by a showbiz giant who has kept us entertained for many years with his dance moves, his acting, his presenting. It's so easy, Mshongo. So, for me, the most extravagant story I ever heard about you, because you must remember, when you were 14 years old, what year was that? This is apartheid days, guys. Yes. Right? I was 13. Mm -hmm. I think it was 1987. So your parents... 18, 89, yeah. Your parents are overseas doing the, the stage production of Sarafina. On Broadway. On Broadway. Yeah. You are left here. Yes. And yes, you've got your showbiz things that you're touching there and there, but mm -hmm. your parents are under the impression that you are still going to school. Yes, I was 13 doing... Uh, it started man going to, we started seven. Started That's seven. grade nine. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And I remember when Mongeni asked my parents to include me with the, their cast. Yeah. They said, no, he has to go to school. Pashasha, they leave 
For New York, there's no cell phones, uh -huh. there's no email, there's nothing but landline. Yeah. So if I am next door, I'm next door. Yeah. And if they, they're looking for me, they'll have to wait for me to come back and stuff like that. So when they left and then Bongeni was looking for a cast, Esarafina, that's going to tour the world. Okay, and go to the West End. And go everywhere yeah. in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's when I was like, let me go again. Then I went for auditions. And then Bongini asked, does your father know? I said, of course. Why would I be here? Of course. And I'm 13, I'm tiny, I'm cute. But I think what he asked that question, he shouldn't have let me audition oh. because the audition was so good. That they could not that, use you even yeah, if they found he just out. just was asking Jay. So then we rehearsed for six months without them knowing. I would wake up at mm. take my back school uniform, get out of the house because my granny was there and my sisters, okay. get out of the house. Then I'd left school already. <laughs> then go to the train station to rehearse. And then you change way out of at the studio. In the train, Lavi. <laughs> How can I arrive in my school uniform, Gumbongin? Because then they would know what's yes. going on. So in the train, Halagasha, Zanga Zanga, back to uniform. How was school? It was all bad. <laughs> I am so smart. And right then now. my parents would call, How are you doing at school? It's June. Did you pass? Yes. I was a very smart child. Mm. Uh, position three. Ah, oh, so means but you, you must push to position one. Yes, you're then. so clever. You don't even make yourself position one. You don't make the light that actually. Uh uh. uh, -uh. <laughs> you like, must keep it. Shall I say? If, <laughs> I'm, I, I used to get position one, uh. but maybe it's because since they are gone, it's in a stress. <laughs> <laughs> so, so shall I say? If, until my dad <laughs> saw a list of the cast. the cast, because my dad was a choreographer, mm. right? So we were supposed to go relieve the cast on Broadway, mm. but this is a mm. So he wanted, the, he saw the list of uh, people that were coming to this. So okay, so-and-so plays uh, Sarafina, that side is, it's played by mm. Sipati. So-and-so plays Colgate, that side it's played by Somiz. So here's the extravagant part for me, is that mm -hmm. in 1987, these are the problems you and your parents are facing. Yeah. As you are flying into New York, brrr, they are flying out of New York. Yeah, so you guys pass each other in the air, and ha it's too late for them to stop you. How <laughs> And then, but what shocked me to this day, that's why I say, it, the reason why the success rate of our children yeah. is limited is because parents leave their dreams through their children. Aww. And my parents did not Aww. want to do that. Because I thought my father was going to say, you're coming back right now. He said, if, it's, if you're passionate about it, if you can say to me, you can do this for free, mm. that's wow. the career you need to go for. Oh, wow. Yes. And he said to me, because, he said to me, my father said, passion is the only thing that will sustain you through thick and thin. Was he Right. Through 2006 to 2009. Exactly. I would have given up. I would have gone to work at, at a supermarket yeah. or, or sell Chinatown counterfeits. Mm. Don't, don't. Mm. But passion, the words of my dad saying, if you can do, if you can do that thing for free mm -mm. and still be happy, that's the job that's you need to go for. So, and I was 13 and they could have said, no, please play it safe. Uh, Get please, a degree. Yeah. Study until matric at least. They don't look at what my child is passionate about, what my child is gifted in. They look at how bad the world is and how they need to protect you from it. Yes, and they yeah. think money is the only thing that protects you oh. from oh. everything. It's not the only thing that protects you. Passion, love, hunger, um, being kind. drive, being kind, being modest, yeah. being down to earth, being human. You see, that's an, you, you also said, and I mean, I've, I can attest to this and so can many people, like people like you. Mm. People like you because you're nice and you greet and you know, uh. um, but you're not fake. So it's no. not like you, you're being nice to make up for the fact that you are so nice. You're mm. just nice because that's mm. who you are. Mm. Do you remember a time when you weren't nice to someone and it still haunts you that yeah. Do you? It does. Sometimes, especially at this level of Zaga Zanga. Yeah, this, this, this life. Zaga, yo. <laughs> ne? My manager always r reminds me, which don't forget, don't forget. Like sometimes go, eh, it's that time, smile. Uh. You know, like behind. Because it gets too much that I, I'm human. Uh. You know, sometimes I just wanna grab a beggar uh. and- Without being disturbed. Yeah, or go to neighborhoods and chill. But I understand, I have to put myself in their place. Can you imagine who, who say neighborhoods beyond the crazy? <laughs> you, yeah, nah. My wig would fall off. <laughs> 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 so, 
same time it can't be rubber. And chuck on it to work on side mask. So you have to understand their yeah. position. One, they don't expect to see you there. But I do. I remember there was a time where I wanted to buy takeaway. I was late to go to the airport. Yeah. Ne? But there's the carrier up here in the in China. The food we can play in the new school business class in China. The the petrol propellers have got hangover from Satan. So I have to go to get that car. So as I I park, I run. It's packed, and then people ask me some things, but I'm running. Mm. Then I get my car, and then this guy says, "Yo, my daughter loves you so much." Ne? And then I turn, I say to him, and I, honestly, if I had stayed another minute, you would have missed that flight. Yeah. And I said, "Put." I, mean, I think it's also the tone. Yeah. I've never the I come here again. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, I am that part. At least I, I still I can. Put it, put it. I'm really, and I was running, but I'm yeah. really, and his face just dropped. I ran. I got into the plane and it chowed me. I couldn't enjoy the car. I mean, it chowed. I tweeted. I said to the gentleman that I met, I'm, going to, I'm really, really, really sorry. And I was going to miss the flight. Mm. And he said, don't worry. Thanks for even taking for your even time. For, yeah. We will meet one day. And we met. You know? So outside of fans who you let down, outside of business partners who you cannot fulfill what they want from you, because I'm sure everyone wants something from you. Mm. Do you. Can you remember anyone that you think you owe an apology? In, in show business? Be it, uh, or a personal thing, or just someone where you just like, oh, one day, yes, when I get over myself, I must say sorry to that person. I sleep, eh? <laughs> I sleep. And not, I don't say I sleep because I'm arrogant or too proud to say I'm sorry. Mm. I don't have that person. I haven't, I've never heard somebody and never apologize. Okay. I've never said something bad about someone and not realize that I've hurt them mm -hmm. and too proud to apologize. Okay. So I sleep. Uh -huh. I really sleep. Although there are people that owe me apologies. That was going to be my next question. Yes. Is there anybody that owes you an apology? Um, <laughs> you know, I, I hate it when people come to interviews and and you ask them a question mm. and they try to be KG okay. and don't don't and this is where you, you you're supposed to have a band that plays a music goes I actually need to go to an ad break, so do you really want the band? Because it can start. So it's gonna we start the music? When you come back. Do you have to go to an ad break? I do, you link to it. When you come back, I will tell you. Who owes me an apology? I was born in Manchester, but my friends have told me. Now I'm going to wear Puma, wear Puma. We'll be back. Do not go away. Hallelujah. What? I need to you be doing the show. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> Today. I, I okay, fine. Listen, come back to me. If you're just joining us, I'm here with Sumizim Shlongo. Before the <coughs> break, he said that he's going to tell us, me and you, because we deserve mm -hmm. to know who this person is that owes him an apology. Therefore, the stage is yours. Um, there's two people mm -hmm. I feel they owe me an apology. One is is a, a blogger. Unfortunately, Unfumans are famous, but he's a blogger mm. who, when I was sick, um, he's actually not a blogger, he's a person that I knew personally, but you know when we meet backstage, mm. we don't do any, we trust mm. each other. Mm. The person that took a picture of myself um, sick and frail and mm. don't do And gaunt. Yeah, and, mm. oh, and what? Gaunt. Gaunt. Mm. All models want they like they like that gaunt look. Gaunt, okay. S B C three, baby. As long as you have to man. So that person that took that picture and made it go viral. Uh. Um, they know they know themselves, and that picture nearly I nearly allowed it to destroy you, to kill me. Mm. So that person owes me an apology. And then the second person that I still till today, and I've never said it in any interview. Mm. Um, she used to be my best best. Best friend, 
mm -hmm. best friend. And I, I think I loved her too much. I was too much into this relationship. It was a do or die relationship where I never thought one day someone would come in and influence them the other way. And then if, if they did, when you are friends and best friends and share everything together, at least give the relationship respect to say, this is what I heard you said about me. This is what, but when you treat me like you would treat a troll uh. and block them and don't do any, uh. uh, then it means our relationship, I was the only one in this relationship and yes. that hurt me. To this day, I can still, it's the first time I talk about it. Yeah. My friendship with Bonang, yeah. I loved that girl. I still do. Mm. And when, when you love someone, even when you're no longer friends, you don't want to see them go through hell. Yes. I am that type of person that even if she had to call today and say, I need A, B, C, and D, I would be the first one to jump. I loved that girl. Mm. She was my Lebu Matosa. She was, and I, I, I've never said that with anyone. My friendship with Lebu Matosa, it was exactly how I viewed my friendship with Bonang. Mm. And for her to just shut me out like that, it really, really, really hurt. To her defense, yeah, because um, she's not here, so I'm going to yes. assume the role yes. of Bonang. Mm. I mean, Ubonang has got a very beautiful life, mm. and, but she's got a very tough life at the mm. same time. And and I get that you guys are best friends, you guys trust each other. Mm. Did you try to reach out to a point where Udum where she cannot say no to you any longer, so that you can? Tell your story because uh. when you are Bonang, there are very few people you can trust. Mm. Even the ones around you, like the guy who backstage took a photo of you mm. and went to go viral. Mm. So you, you, when you are on that level, you, you, you anticipate e, 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 backstabbing, e, backstabbing yes. up as Julia says, at any mm. time from anyone. Maybe I view it, I viewed it differently. Um, the reason why I was also so obsessed with her was that I've got this protective yes. nature. I was the type that would fight her battles, even... Sometimes to her detriment? Yes, to, uh, even on, on social media, mm. you know? And, and also, what made me become so confident in our friendship was that I've always been the one that says, don't hang around with people that have nothing to lose. And I knew I, wa I was not that person. Mm. And, and because sometimes in life we are forced to to be around people that are either they think like us yeah or they are famous like us mm. or they are successful like us or they are rich than uh, like us you know what i'm saying mm. because in this world you, you question a lot of motives so for me to be a friend one older two possibly more successful than her mm. um i thought there was no way f for her to question my reason to be there. I wanted to be the ahead. I'm, I'm the light. Mm. Um, don't make the same mistakes I did. Oh. Um, I've been through A, B, C, and D. Be careful of so-and-so. This is how so-and-so fell into A, B, C, and D. So I'd never thought there would be any reason for her to, to, to think I would one day turn and maybe backstab her because mm. the, the... You are the same. Yeah. You're saying, like, I understand where you come from. I understand where you wake up. Mm. So I would not be that person. Did you tell her this? Because you know what happens? Mm. People fight. People close. And like you said, you love mm. her. And I have no doubt that now, when I'm young, mm. but then you never say these things, right? Yeah. And then people are waiting for the other one to speak. And then you see each other at functions. And because now you're so fueled by who you are, and she's mm. so fueled by who she is. And it's just a, oh, hi. OK, sure. You know? You, and, you, and, and, and I mean, now you're slaying. Now she's slaying. So. Mm. I don't need you, I don't need you. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, the inner child wants their friend. Um, there's two type of people. There's that type of person that they see things for what they really are. Mm. And the type of person that sees things the way they want to see them. Mm. So if Anneli says to me, tries to reach out, then no matter how wrong or right Anneli is, I will forever, it's either I'll forever view it as she's begging because she's guilty. Mm. Or she's really, she really wants to know. She wants to know answers, mm. you know. So um, I choose not to because I know her. You know, you know your friend. Yeah. You know, you know your friend. Which, you, you, I would say hi today at work. We see each other every day. Mm. Hi today. The following day you say hi. Person doesn't greet back. I'm like, uh-uh. My gube right. My gube in Let's just leave it here. 
I mean. Did you not see her treat other people like she's treating you, though, when you were her friend? So is, <laughs> I, 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 I have, but, um, and, and I've been warned, but I'm, I, I see people for, I give people the benefit of the doubt, mm. and because I expect the same. I mean, I'm sure there are things that were said or are said about me, you could be careful, no, mm. no, they are dead, mm. like, oh, God. Uh, you know, so so we we all human. We all have our ups, our downs, our strengths, our weaknesses. Mm. I I I think you guys should sort your stuff out. Yeah, one thing I know for sure would never go back to that place we were. Uh, like I'm the type that when the trust is 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 like ah, severed, the crinkled paper, you will never iron me back. Oh. All right. Yeah, the wrinkles in China. You will never end me back. So, never. So you you are you are you are forgiving, but you're not forgetful. Yeah, so I would be civil. Yeah. I would be huggy at a place there. Yeah. But you you will never have my private space ever again because I don't like awkwardness. Oh. You're okay. uncomfortable. I don't like. So there's always going to be that elephant in the room. Yeah. Regardless I don't, I don't, of I, if you guys and, come yeah. to other and you're. And now you're scared with the. You, you mustn't go back there. Mm. You know, it's like me and and being broke. When I see broke, I'm like, yo, <laughs> undens are uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, so I'm that type that I don't go back, but I never hold grudges. I forgive. I never hate. I, there's not one single person that I, I can say I hate because I understand the concept of hate. The person that you're hating, mm. I'm trying to, I thrive. <laughs> at, at the same time. But I thrive, I'm trying to. So are you aware that there's someone out there who could hate you, but you yes. don't... Oh, wow, you answered that quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... Guys, if there are people that hate money, who the in do you think you are? <laughs> if there are people who hate God... Then who are you? So I know there are people that hate me, but it's fine, my job on earth is not to explain myself. Mm. 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 Okay, we're going to take an air break. When we come back, I want to talk to you about uh, you giving up your sleep because now you are on Metro FM breakfast from 5 a.m., which means you must be up by 3. No joke, Baba. By 5, he must be at studio. He's now on Metro FM breakfast with DJ Fresh, the big dog. I want to talk about that at length. Come back to us. Okay, first things first, we are trending at number one on Twitter. I say to him, he's like, duh, <laughs> what did you expect though? Which leads me to my next point. He has likened himself to MJ, Whitney and Brenda Fassi. And for once, for once, this person was not blowing their own horn when they said that. Because when I leave that thing, mm. when I leave that thing, which is lovely. You know, Kanye said the loveliest thing about you. I was watching an interview yeah. and Kanye Bao says that, uh, so music goes into your skin and becomes your 11th finger. Wow. And uh, I could also say he's a part of me. If I don't like him, it means I don't like myself. Wow. Uh, but she also says that you're not afraid to say, Kanye, I'm weak, Kanye, I'm scared. Uh. When was the last time you were scared? When was the last time I was scared? Yo, I can't remember. You are never scared when? I am. I when are you nervous? Okay, scared maybe oh, like, a, like no, just... I, yeah, not scared. Not scared, because scared means yo. Yeah. Don't, don't. Last week, Sunday, um, <laughs> before the first day of... <laughs> the breakfast show, the bra baby. <laughs> <laughs> before, yeah, last week, Sunday, I was nervous. Why were you nervous? Because Fresh is such a big name and such mm. a... Like, he is like the cornerstone of broadcasting. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? I was nervous because... Hey, my God, man, mm. my God. Sometimes I feel like God lives in my place mm. and then he just communicates with all of you via WhatsApp <laughs> and emails <laughs> or visits you and comes back and sleeps in my place because the level of blessings that I receive on a daily basis yeah. are, and, and, and for me, it's, I never believed, but now I believe when they say abundance, mm. my life now is like looking at the sea. It never ends. My blessings are like standing in, on the ocean. They never end. And the, the breakfast show is one, one incident that again reminds me that God 
won't throw you in fire if you're not ready. But mm -hmm. sometimes you might not be ready, but when it throws you in the fire, understand the concept. The concept is for you to come out as gold. To rise. Yes. Yeah. So, so I was very nervous. And, and you know, again, back to God. God loves you. He'll never give you people that are not meant to be in your space. Sometimes for, t for a reason, even if they're not supposed to be in your space, with fresh, that's when I look at fresh and like, I understand God loves me. But okay, because I mean, a year ago, you were given the 8 to 10 show, right? Yes. And, and, I, and I told you this. I was like, yeah. you know, they shouldn't have put you with people who've never done radio before. Mm. All of you guys are talented. Yes. But I do think you need to be close. And that's how I'd, I'd be like, just try this, mm. you know. So um, do, were you not scared that he was coming into, uh, the, into, the, into the, the breakfast show and thinking, yeah, let me show you how it's done? Yes, it's easy for a person at his level yeah. to do that. But when I was told by the station that I'm gonna go with Fresh, yeah. and I bumped into a DJ that told me how excited Fresh is oh. to <laughs> work with me. I'm like, what? Yes. Like, whoa, okay, great stuff. I think he saw something as well. Yes. That as soon the station saw it good. The other show was making me a presenter. It is 8.15, this is Metro FM, and it's a whole lot In 15 minutes time, 15 minutes to don't you can stay tuned for that. That was <laughs> Anton. Then they said, no, that's not the song we wanted in the first place. Yeah. We want you to be you. My goodness, they were so right. And then I get to work with Fresh, a person who is a radio god yeah. and, and still is willing to teach you yeah. and, 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 and ride with you and give you the experience of a lifetime. My experience right now is somebody else's hugest, biggest dream and established people, you know? So for me to, to be in that place is great. And also, again, it happened at the right time, right age. I'll tell you why. Because I could also be arrogant and like I've got more followers than fresh. Yeah. Please. I'm on idols. I am like the face of like Nanga, Kota, <laughs> and, and Makwinya. And like we're going to talk and turn It's easy for, for, that's why I wish these kids can learn Ubuntu. Yeah. Um, it takes that one tweet. Everybody says, we love you, we love you, we love you and fresh. And then that one tweet says, I, and I've got it, that tweet that said, don't allow Fresh to bully you, you're a superstar. People don't, don't. love it to takes, divide, hey? It takes that one tweet. Then you so if, if you're not grounded, you're screwed. Yeah, you can be like, yeah, actually, I, I do command more of a following than Fresh, so can like be there. Exactly, so we were meant to be. Mm. I am so, like, But now, grateful. what time do you get to bed? Because five o'clock is not a joke. No, now I'm sleeping my age. <laughs> <laughs> before generations. Ah, I am sleeping my age before. <laughs> I would sleep like a, a UJ student <laughs> at three and then wake up at five and turn to I sleep my age. Right now as we speak, I've got a roast lamp mm -hmm. in the oven, cooking potatoes and curry mm -hmm. and beans and, and gravy and gravy. And I'm gonna eat. Put on my onesie and don't um, don't shower. I mean, in ambassador of water, we shower <laughs> once a day, so I've showered already. So, and then nine o'clock, no later than nine o'clock, uh. no later than nine o'clock. Ex. Who's making this lamb roast at home? La by me. No, I. Who's Nana, we live in the burbs. We live in the stain of the city where stoves, at the rate of the land that is so expensive, stoves must cook for themselves. Who, okay, it's cooking for itself, but yes. who goes to check and tend the lamp? Nobody. It said, ah, what stuff are you using, girl? Ah, uh, girl, you must come to my house. You said it's going to switch off at 6 o'clock. It will be click, click, click. Mm. The food will be ready. The question you should have asked is, who are you going to share the leg of lamp with? Okay, who are you sharing the leg of lamp with? <laughs> I ask you mm, this mm, because my sister needs to come and say, Sifikile, Sabo, so the fig, such a fig, so the fig, so the bone, so the chatty, so the so the strength, even the top feeling. So <laughs> no, come on, no, it's gonna be a destination wedding, okay? It's gonna be very far, mm -hmm. like your poro poro 26 hour flight, okay? Um, and I'm gonna invite everybody that I know, but I know not everybody's gonna make it. Can afford to come to poro poro, uh huh, including the film crews, no film crew in this country. <laughs> will afford. I, is there going to be a step? Because I mean, you're a choreographer. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, standard. Yeah. Ballerinas, uh, hanging. Mm -mm. Like, actually, I'm going to have all the celebrities I don't like. 
and pay them to hang. Just to <laughs> like when I stand here. No, not stand. Hang. Like a like a trapeze artist. Yes, like this, like angels. Uh. <laughs> okay, at least you are at, you are at least planning on flying them then. Eh? Yes. Okay. That... I'm gonna pay and book them, but uh. torture them, and it must be a thong uh, harness. <laughs> are you gonna give us this list of celebrities you don't like? <laughs> No, there isn't. No, because you. Mm -mm. I was just like about to say. No, there isn't a person that I don't like. Because I think much. you are you are genuinely adored with people. Yeah, no, no, no. But much. you're getting married because I see the ring there. Yes. And you're very happy. I'm fine. Uh, how long have you guys been together? Six with years. Who? The person who's sharing the lamb with you. I'm an annual man. Oh my man. Ask this question. Ask if I'm gay. <laughs> we we know you gay from the days of your mom's friends coming to the house going ma. <laughs> right? I, Your mom's friends were gay. I wanted to tell you a joke, now. Um, because earlier, I think you had those three women that were saying, na 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 go, na 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 go, na 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 go. Yeah. So this week, uh, another party is marching. Yeah. It's a black party. Yeah. So, I'm thinking I have to get three women, black women, <laughs> that are gonna do a black version. So my mother, Lilian Tube, and Apikil Kupega. Imagine yeah. if they do. A yeah, like a spoof so No, a black version. But like, what would they do together? Like? Sister was afraid. Uh -huh. I was petrified. <laughs> thinking I could never live without you by my side. <laughs> oh, now go. <laughs> Walk out the door. Uh, 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 don't turn around now. Oh, uh, I think it's going to be nice. Uh, I think it's there. I think it's there. Stay there. You and I are coming back for the last time. I don't want this chat to end. Me too. Really? Do we, do we have to end? Time for a quick break. We want to hear from you. What are you thinking of the new season? And I want all your juicy comments. Whilst you're online, don't forget that Real Talk is running a weekly competition that kicks off every Monday and you can enter via our social media sites. Up for grabs is an e-card gift. No, Anele, now you're speaking some amazing English. Up for grabs is an at-home e-gift card with 5,000 rand and it will go to one lucky viewer to splurge on at home. When we return, uh, I was supposed to now ask him the question that everyone is dying to know. What's but it? He's answered it. The fight with you and your girlfriend. But you've answered it. I guess you can talk about my future project. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to Real Talk, right here on SABC3, where the stage is yours. This is sadly the final stretch of my chat with the fabulous music. That's why he's putting his shoes on my furniture here. It's not your furniture. It's, it's mine. At home. <laughs> <laughs> what, Tina, do you know that? <laughs> Listen, I want to talk about your projects. Yes. Wednesday, your reality show is coming back. Yes, living, living the, the dream. dream. Somebody, yes. do, you, do you not fear overexposure? Like, just people getting to know too much and you're always in a place where people can see you. I have the best manager, management team, Yeah. that makes sure that that doesn't happen. Ah. Yeah. Um, I think for me, overexposure is simple things like being at every red carpet of every opening of every... Envelope. Chin of... Don't do <laughs> <-charts>. Yeah. <laughs> um, being overexposure is like, now you're appearing at a club, you're appearing at a don't do you're appearing... Okay. You know, Position your brand, you are a brand, you know, so I think my team does an amazing work when it comes to that. Uh -huh. uh, and also when you are exposed or when you expose yourself, mm. make sure it's something great. So what you're saying is you'll never run out of talent, so there's no such thing as overexposure. <sighs> Timing is key. Uh -huh. Timing is key. Mm. Um, not that I, I've got so many talents and my plans are like 15 years goals. In 15 years' time, I still see myself where I am today mm. because God has given me with a bucket and I'm using them. The thing is, there's a difference between Somizi and maybe Tom Futi mm. out there is that Somizi does everything that he was given by God. And Tom Futi is given the same way, but Tom Futi worries about who to analyze is. They are greedy, they are mm. everywhere. As long as whatever you do is something that you are talented in or something that you are passionate about, Carry on there's, doing there's it. buckets, there's gifts. You know. no, not, not, no one person has one talent. We all have more than one talent. Speaking of all your talents, uh, on Twitter, at Miss Masichaba, please ask Sumizi when he's opening a restaurant. We want some of that food, please. You see, that's one of the future plans. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm releasing an autobiography. Uh, it's called Dominos. 
The Unbreakable Spirit by Solizi. Uh -huh. And it's, it's a story of my life, right? It's, uh, Leslie was here, Leslie Mufuking, and he yes. wouldn't tell us this book that he's writing. Oh, well, I've exposed him. <gasps> Leslie! <laughs> I've exposed it. It's fine now. It's coming out in two weeks' time, so we'll be fine. So I'm releasing that. And then answering the cooking thing, mm. we're also working on a recipe book. Oh, nice. Yes. And then it starts. And then from there, it's restaurant, mini restaurants, and then around the country. So th there is the pie is big. That's why I don't understand people that are jealous of other people's success and talent because the pie it's is very big. Huge. Who makes you better at what you do? And you cannot say your mother. Uh -huh. You cannot say your manager. Just uh -huh. somebody who you know, after every conversation with them, you leave being a better person and more prepared to be the Somizi that we know and love. I have a, an unsung hero. Her name is Zuki Felipai. Uh -huh. That woman is a friend of mine that I can talk to about anything. But the th one thing about Zuki, in the darkest, she was there throughout the, yeah. the tough times, physically sick, financially broke and don't don't and to this day she still I was with her yesterday she's mm. the type of person that will always find a solution mm. she has taught me to always see light no matter how dark the situation is is she your best friend yes she is she's been my friend since 97 okay that's the person that I know for sure that she, she she's she epitomizes hope mm -hmm. and light that's the person so uh, speaking of being nervous, mm -hmm. um, you had said that the night before the 2010 uh, FIFA World Cup, the World Cup mm -hmm. you were quite nervous because I yeah. mean, it was big for you. And I also feel like it was your comeback. You yeah, know, it was. Then, from then on, we knew you, right? Yeah. And you didn't go anywhere. Uh, when, in your near future, when do you see something as big as that? What are your, because everyone's got like international aspirations. Yeah. What are your international aspirations? My manager is going to kill me for saying that because that's his aim. I would, w I would rather conquer Africa. Yeah. I have nothing for me there. If it extends to there, overseas, like Europe and America, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But I am blessed to be home and still be this happy and successful. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world. I wouldn't want to be on the red carpets of Hollywood. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want, maybe if I do a movie, but still a South African movie, that would conquer the world, mm -hmm. then I'm fine. And then if there's offers, it opens, that's fine. But I am not chasing that. I'm not chasing the American dream. I've got my African dream. That's the cue for the music. <laughs> I listen for your voice. <laughs> you know, uh, long ago you were on Late Night with Homozo. Yeah. And uh, I believe people should be able to change their minds and you change your mind in this. Mm. And, uh, you said that you were asked to be on So You Think You Can Dance yeah. and you turned it down because you yeah. were like, uh-uh, guys, yeah. it's, it's very Americanized. Yeah. You know, one more American thing that's coming through and now we must abide by it, yeah. which is why you went for Dance Your Butt Off instead, yes. right? Uh, so with Idols, what went different there? Because Idols, I mean, okay, it's mm. not an American one. It started in the UK, uh, but it's pretty much a Western It's an thing. international Yes, concept. What, what enticed you? Because when you landed, viewership went up by 29%. Thank you. Uh, voting went up to 70 million votes in mm -hmm. the season. So it was the perfect fit. Mm -hmm. But initially, it's not something you wanted to do. What changed? It's being in tune with the universe, um. being in tune with God's timing. Um, because sometimes we, the, no has, a, has a, a power as well. True. Saying no mm -mm. Is, can be very powerful. So when I said no to So You Think You Can Dance, maybe I thought it was because I was angry that it's, I'm a dancer, I'm a choreographer, I could have come up with a concept, or I've come up with concepts like that, but they were turned down. Oh, uh, okay. uh, or maybe it was the universe saying, don't do it, but I wasn't in tune. Then Idols comes, and I'm doing very well in my career, yes, but well. Idols comes, and M Miss Universe says, and it, we all know that from that day, zaga, 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 zanga, zaga, zaga. so it's timing. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's timing, that's all. Being in tune. And you are now doing a show that your friend Unati was on. Have you guys spoken about yes, it? Yes, we have spoken. And she's probably happy for you. She's fine. She's called, she sent texts, congratulations. Mm. Uh, she's happy. And, and for her, and because we spoke about it before she left, it was a matter of, let her journey extend, let her journey, mm. you know, we, we, we all have different 
um, paths. Mm. So it was her time to move on. So it wasn't like me. It was in this business, some people would go up there and to say, come cope. It's my turn now. Cope la la. Because I'm looking at because you guys are on idols together, so yeah. I don't want it to be awkward because ah, you guys are my favorite judging panel. She's my soul sister. Okay. Yeah, no, you're right. Good. Yeah. Well, in one sentence, what is the biggest dream for yourself? To, to have an empire. It's never, I'm, I'm proof that it's never too late to, to kill it. Ne? Because I started killing it when I was 40. Like proper, proper. Yeah. Life really began. Yeah. So I want, I can still dream like an 18 year old and still achieve those dreams. I want to run this ish. Mm. Not just show business. I want to have businesses. I want to be rich, rich. Let's not beat it about the British of the pushish. Mm. I want to be so rich that every time I cry. Money falls out your eyes. No, there's, there's like glasses of champagne that are holding my tears. And life is so good that when I, like, I want to be so, I need, I want to be so rich. Mm -mm. I want to be, I want to be not even Beyonce rich. I want to be. Bill Gates rich. Stein rich. Do Stein rich. Yes, I want to be, I want to be, it's possible. If some people it happens in three years, some people it happens in 20 years, but in 20 years I'll be 60. So it's possible. That's my biggest dream. But more than anything, I don't, if it means being that rich mm. and unhappy, you shall the grand. Yeah. Okay, that's all we have time for. He could have gone on forever, hey, and I wouldn't have minded. Thank you so much, Simi Simshongo. Catch him tomorrow. Metro of M breakfast from 5 a.m. until 9 a.m. Alongside Fresh, Angie, and Poma. Boy, fancy, they're all there. And, of course, then his reality show starting this Wednesday, Living the Dream. His book is coming out as well, Dominoes. We're going to have him back in here with Leslie Mufuking to talk about it. As for you and I, we have a date for tomorrow. Same time, same place. Bye-bye for now. Woo! I'm a selfie. Thank <laughs> you.